too. Well, we shared a snowy advocacy day we last did. March. <laughs> Tell I was me not for that snowy advocacy day. <laughs> Tell me your impressions of that day and what you liked, what you didn't, and what would you like to see in future advocacy days? Um, results, no. Um, <laughs> I want those legislators to listen to me. Um, I think one of the things I was really impressed about with advocacy day work was the fact that we had access. That there are at, there are legislators and, and offices of legislators on the Hill who are willing to sit down and listen mm -hmm. to what educators and advocates for education have to say. That's half the battle. How do you get someone to sit down and have a dialogue, regardless of what you believe, whether you agree or disagree? You have to be able to sit down and talk to each other. Mm -hmm. So that was actually refreshing that we had that ability to sort of walk in and sit down. I think it helped that it snowed. I was like, we, we, they were captive audiences. That helped immensely. You cannot leave your office. I also found it entertaining the ones who were there and the ones who weren't. No southern senators to be found. That's right. But all the, the ones from the northeast. That's were right. There. And, and Alaska. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Alaska. That's true. Too. She's like, that was nothing. In Colorado, yeah. I think one of the difficulties with advocacy work in general, and it's easy to feel this way about advocacy day. We believe so passionately in what we do, and we are so invested and so involved in the things that we talk about, the things that we work toward, and the work that we do, that it can feel that we just can't gain traction fast enough to make the changes that we want to change. And so it's, I think it's easy to do work like that and walk away and think, well, that had no effect. Well, I didn't, that didn't help anything. Well, why did I just spend two hours talking to that guy who's not going to do anything? And, it's easy to think that way, but I think it's not logical to think that way mm -hmm. because you have to build. If you only do it once, you walk away and you never follow up, you're right, that becomes of it. Mm -hmm. But the ability of NCTE to sort of build on the things that we do, that one advocacy day leads to two, leads to 20, leads to 50, that one conversation can lead to another conversation, that can lead to a group, that can lead. And being able to build on that is sort of what gives me the hope that where we may start may be small, mm -hmm. but what, where we end may be quite large.